What's up guys, this is the Roseman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total Let's Play as the United States. So to run off where we left off, we are advancing forward to push the Spanish, uh, the Swedish out of their territories around Stockholm and hopefully capturing it to open up a new front against the Russians. So without further ado, let's crack on because these look like quite interesting armies to fight. Lots of elite troops, so I will, <clears throat> I will absolutely need to eat to ensure that I don't run out of ammunition. And to be honest, I do have reinforced. So I'm going to want to adv advance up, but similarly, I'm not going to want to advance up too far to allow them to get within um, musket range. Well, no, not musket range, sorry. I don't want them to advance too close to allow them to be able to charge into me. Hold them at range where possible. And, ooh, this is a nice little gunnery position. And set these guys up on one flank. Just put a guard unit on the right on the edge. My long rifleman can hold the flank. So let's cut those together. Good. On this flank, it's slightly weaker, but their objective will be more of it more defensive in nature. is going to be deployed back here <clears throat> back here I'm going to put a unit of Lancer Guards in position on each flank and then let's go so I want to advance up these guys I want to advance up my guns Reinforcements coming in from the right flank, so I'm going to run my, my rifleman up. Yeah, they're canistering my artillery, but now the re now the art the counter battery fire is going to come in in earnest. And decimate that marine unit. Then my 24 pounders have a chance to fire. Marines are falling back. To be honest, this is even though this is my defensive line, I may be required to push with it. In order to help clear off the heavy horse guard artillery. Let's deploy my stakes with them. This elite Swedish cavalry unit is going to get shot to pieces. Because they're general. Okay, let's get my lances moving. Carefully get them moving. Because these guys are deploying stakes, I need to route through here. I will sacrifice my lancers. General's dead, he's charged my rifleman through the stakes. 
Come here. Try go for him, I suppose. My lancers. They've engaged the light cavalry. You retreat back. Okay, let's change the targeting of my howitzers. Run my riflemen towards the guards. Although they very nicely shot most of their own gun crew. Yeah, that's okay. So if I can run through this gap here. Carefully try not to lose too many. Bring him back in. My, my cavalry's gone, probably the stakes didn't help. You guys get involved, General get involved. Good, let's deploy my my troops to begin engaging. Engaging it reinforcing armies. So you go for the sharpshooters, these chaps keep advancing to try clear around so I've managed to have headed up head off the reinforcements somewhat so let's begin to engage them with my howitzers You can engage the blunderbuss shotguns, that would be lovely. The Swedish infantry is good in the melee, that's the thing. So this isn't ideal, particularly as you've got some elite units coming in. Generals died, that's okay. Good, now hit this line infantry that's coming in from behind. Now you guys don't charge them, because no, you can charge them, they're now not going to be. See if I can shrapnel the dragoons. Oh yes, please. No, oh, maybe not. Let's 
skin to round shot the guys in the rear. Oi oi. Let's get the guards in the combat. Let's make the line infantry take up position where the guards should be. God, here comes my field marshal. Okay, let's advance you to deal with them. Let's advance both of you to deal with them. Nice of them to get off, isn't it? To dismount. Is he dead already? He literally died in one of the first combats. He died charging some dragoons on foot. Beautiful. That really was, yeah, of the, the handful of troops I lost there, one of them was my general, in all of this sea of bodyguard. A good hit would have got so many. So here come the reinforcing columns. Hopefully they're lovely and come right through this little bowl. But to be honest, my general's just not safe over there because there's this line of stakes and there's this line of stakes. It's just too... Unless I can like, go all the way around through this gap, then it's just a bit of a pain in the ass to try and deploy them. So I think I'm just going to leave them. They're going to charge the 75th. We'll try to. The General's managed to live through all of that. Swedish Marines. Oh God. The Swedes are broken. Oh, this is an elite special unit. Everyone's gonna die from it very, very quickly. Let's 
retarget my howitzers to hit the new reinforcements. Even though they're out of range, their guns are firing at range, so I'll get ready to move some of my lancers in to, to, re, to um, counter. So let's put my lancers over on the right flank. This mighty Swedish regiment is holding the line against all odds. Yeah, I'd be shaking if I were you. Brilliant shot if it wasn't a dud. Let's rotate these guys and let's get my cover off to the side so they don't get hit by any misses. Trying to force, I'm trying to open another avenue of attack. So once I let these elite troops leave the safety of their guns, then I will go around the rocket troop. I will go around and attempt to flank. So are you going to engage that unit? No, you're not. That's annoying. So if I nudge you slightly forward, because I absolutely want two of my units to shoot for every elite of theirs. <laughs> there we go. So then let's take if that's the game they want to play, then we shall advance up our line. It's gonna be a long way from up on the hill. They're going to get engaged by this line infantry, so you're slightly in a bad position, so let's... No, before you fire. Run those guys. Let's get my long rifle in a bit, a bit backwards. Good. Let's advance up. Go for this unit of Royal Swedish Dragoons. 
a rifleman, it is a rifleman. Deploy my cavalry. Good, now let's take the balance of these men. God, these riflemen have pushed up. up into their faces and get get musket shots off okay so one of you go after this old rocket troop the other one go after this unit of artillery so you have to come around here around the fusilier spikes Good position, but yeah, it's fair enough. You fell, you've been shot by precision rifle fire. position charge up the hill oh that's unfortunate guys around God, they're massacring these marines let's push him up the hill a bit my lance is back this way nope they're in let's run you guys away from being shot at ah oh, dang one poxy 
themselves are going to rout. Well, they did get charged, so that's not a surprise. Engage them with gunfire. Get these line infantry guards in. This is why you have lots and lots and lots of infantry. Or lots of reinforcements. Engage them with infantry or else they will just keep going. Foot line, come back. See if you can get here to fire onto the backs of these hussars, that would be handy. Why are my artillery shooting at them? I do not know. Can you shrapnel? Yes you can shrapnel that unit. Bring them back. So all reinforcements will come up to support a new defensive line back where it originally was. So the enemy general's dead. Good. Come from a new line. So then let's take you got any ammunition left? Not very much. Run into position. My idea is if I do this and keep a combat blob going, should be able to do quite a lot with it. Okay, let's go back to run to quick lime. Start hitting targets as normal because they're now getting back within range. Oh, that's a lot of dead marines, dead soldiers. Yeah, because they're killing a bunch of my guys to get that kill. Charge straight on. To be honest, it looks like I want these guys to rout, and I may, they may as well try and do something useful. Let's keep the quick climb going. Nope, they're going to hit this combat too. To be honest, I'm surprised my cavalry is lasting this long. It's tying a lot of them up. But everyone just keep running. Use your caveat. First recording of the session, so I'm open to it being a bit scrappy. Good, you're almost gone. So the idea is if my fragments can keep them busy for long enough, So you guys retarget yourselves against more conventional threats. You go after the Marines. We must not be afraid of losses, men. We will occur many such losses on the road to victory.
Okay, the hope is at least... Because, I mean, that's a lot of troops that that cavalry's tied up. Here comes a new general to take charge of the defence. The third one of the day. Okay, you guys start hammering the reinforcements. You get straight into that general's bodyguard. Although they're probably dead. It'd still be nice to make sure. Yeah, they're all going to be broken soon. <laughs> Fratricide, quick lime shot falling in. Good, good. Here come my own sharpshooters. Many of my lances over here. Then let's open up with quick lime. Good old round shots, good enough for here. They got some howitzers and they got rockets. Well, actually, I might. Yeah, I'm gonna get some my send my rockets to go my lancers to go engage their rockets. So the shot will shot these marines before they get close. Good stuff. Good, more troops. That's what have I got? Let the Unite Dragoons, Continental Marines. Yes. Okay, let's get my Dragoons on this flank. Let's get my marines up front and centre. Let's get my riflemen ready to scout. So they do have some cavalry, some dragoons. Target missiles to the rear, you target that unit till they route. Yep, I'm gonna run around you dragoons, I'm not gonna engage you. More cavalry. But the punishing damage my howitzers can do is finally beginning to take a toll. Go for the land go for the gun crew. There we go. Let's get these cavalry to go all the way around here. Rocket troop. 
soon to be, well, to get these dragoons before you get shot in the back. Turn my guards up. They've got enough range to begin picking at them. These are my American sharpshooters. They look like guard, guard infantry. Okay, let's get you guys to deploy on the reverse of this hill. Where are my lances in combat? Go get the go get the guns. These chaps should be wrecking a terrible toll. Especially more so when they get within range of my regular infantry. And go after the rocket troop. Run you around these here stakes. So there we go, they're running out for the last conventional engagement of the night. And they're getting shot to pieces. Lovely stuff. Lancer guards, get out of the way! Don't need to do anything, just don't die. And then let's watch. Actually, what I want to do first is. Oh, to be honest, they're fairly knackered as it is. So I'm just going to leave it, leave it, leave them as is. Target these guys with my howitzers. Forty-eight foot guards are very tired, but it remains to be seen if they'll even get a an outing. Well, they have because the Grenadier guards have reformed their line. Oh god, under punishing artillery fire at great cost. Not that this has been an easy win, but it's been a fun battle, I'll tell you that. Lots of back and forth and calls and cool. I like that, that was good fun. One of my armies is now busy. So one should be badly mauled, one should be slightly mauled, and one should be fresh. Yeah, eh, not a bad ratio. Well, not great. So you fall back, you fall back, you fall back. You, you have it. Whew, game just completely not to leap. Hmm. Okay, so what I might do is try, if I can, to retain some of this experience. So it doesn't mean I'm gonna, this army is gonna shrink massively. But I want to try and, if possible, have a super duper, have a few super duper regiments. I should have been doing this from the start, really. There we go. So obviously this army now can't really take part in many actions, but... Hold on. There we go. So I may as well just set it to recruit and set them to recruit. A new unit of line guards. And then, hmm. I'm curious as to why it's why it is bugging so much. So just one sec, guys. I'm going to pop out of the game, and then I'm going to check see if there's anything running in the background, and then I'll pop back in. So see you in just a second. 
Right, you guys, I don't quite know what's causing that. So instead, I'm just going to let sleeping dogs lie. Maintain the siege. You guys get replenishing. You guys get replenishing. And you might even... Okay, let's take some replenishments from this guy. So you want another elite unit of infantry, a bunch of infantry, and some cavalry. So what about that? That's a rough... Eyeball, you want two more. And then let's recruit um, Kyrsiers and Copenhagen. Cool, and I've got an army from it. Oh. Hmm. Well, to be honest, what I think I might do is this part, because it's a bit, been a bit laggy, although I would very much like. Guys, back. Get some power axes in. Oh no, they can't do it. But these ones can. And the 32 pound heavy horse guard how it says. That's for a good chunk in. May as well just knock out the Swedes in this part in a in a in a one hour. I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, well, it seems to fit. But let's crack on, as things are going well. Then we are going to have knocked out. Yeah, that's the Swedes knocked out. Then these armies will advance up and around mainland Sweden for now. Some will hold uh, ready to amphibiously assault an armies. Okay, cool. So you're my horse guard unit. You get a breach all to yourself. And these guys get a breach over here. House is in the centre. So then let's pick my storming battalions. It always feels like I never want that many going in through the breaches because that's where massive lag, lag spikes happen. Nice huge units of Lancer Guards. I don't know why I've got, I don't know why they're this big, but damn. That's a unit of cavalry right there. And these guys are going to go in the breaches, stay in the rear. Field Marshal, I think it's Field Marshal. It's going to stand here. Mortars are firing, I wonder what they're going to fire at. Probably going to be my howitzers, isn't it? Well, no, it might not be. Oh, my gun teams. Well, because we're not against a super duper garrison. Let's start the start the ball rolling earlier than planned. You have you have a proper dilemma now, don't you, mortars? Who do you shoot at? Wait here. You storm directly over the gate. You to take the bastion. You to take this section of the wall. 
you two can wait. You get up here, you get up here, you get up here. Let's run them. Should be enough time between the to between the volleys so that when they fire, they should fire over my men. There we go. Like it was choreographed. I'd very much like to capture the gatehouse and just run some infantry units through the gate. That's my preference. Yep, they're beginning to quick climb my assault troops, and that's fine. Ooh, they're going to quick climb in here, which isn't quite so good. Not good at all. The gate should be ours though, because they seem to have abandoned it. We well, you know what, damn it, the gates are open, so let's just go up to the breach. God damn, they want to protect the walls badly. Oh, they've closed the door. Oh, there we go, they've opened them again. Maybe no grenadier guards down. Let's run a unit of infantry in and then let's get some cavalry over here ready to run in when this gate is destroyed. Howitzers to start plinking at their mortars. I mean, this should be an American gay house, to be honest, because the only guys they've got holding it are over here. So we should be in control of it, but maybe there's some sort of mechanic, which means it has to be these guys? I don't know. Assault. 
Going to run down the hill. Let's pull you guys back out of the breach just to make the game smooth again. Let's get these howitzers to actually target this section of the wall instead. Clear the militia off the wall. Good. About darn time. What are you doing that for? Engage those guys. Climb back up. The grenadiers are inbound. Pull you guys back. If they want to engage, they can engage on the open field where we can surround them. This could be painful. Well, not a lot we can do about that. Skewer the mortars, the... Oh, it's the end of the battle. <laughs> nice. Everyone's managed to, managed to break kill. The faction of Sweden. I believe. Nation destroyed. Sweden. So this game now only has... Three... Four factions, I think. Myself... Russia, the Marathas, and the uh, Saxony, because they are also still alive. But don't worry, I'm destroying your school, so you'll like me oh, a bit better. Still might rebel a bit, but I think that will be everyone, except for... Yes, this Savoy. Then it's the war against the Marathas, which should be fairly quick, because what's going to end up happening is that all of my armies are just going to go bleh this way, tactical turn, and kill them all, I think. Jump school, then... Let's see, you're doing replenishment. We're going to need to do lots of cleaning up around these areas. But this guy is going to be on route to knock out or we'll start clearing them out. This is the, going to be the trouble. This is going to be mighty trouble. But for now, we can set on our laurels and say we've captured or we've destroyed Sweden. So, I was asked about... Um, oh yeah, this is going to be a long campaign to capture 50 regions, but I've decided just to make it map world domination. Um, oh, I have no reason to... No reason to own any of my schools. And I've already done so. Good. Uh, so how much it costs me to keep my armies up and going. So all of the armies I have on the field, and I don't know if there's a way I can find that out, apart from going on to lists and counting. You know, all of my armies. We can see here's all the... Let's rank them by largest... Yeah, that, there's almost soldiers in this right-hand column, and that's a lot of, a lot of armies, a lot of powerful armies. Even then going down to, to my smaller amounts of 300 individual units. It's a lot of damn troops, but it costs me 190,000 per turn to upkeep. And because I'm earning so much tax, I'm still earning 280,000 a turn. So that's lovely. I did get... I did ask, they've still got my... No, my corrupt... No, my corrupt treasure is gone. I did have a corrupt treasure ages ago. 
Well, I should have been, I should have been a bit more uh, on point with my ministers, but to be honest, it gets to a point where you're earning so much. Uh, I don't want to hold an instant election. Even though you're a bit rubbish, I can still... I'm still beating everyone in the world. Okay, dokey. So where were you going? Go up to here just to block. Slow down their advance so they can't cross over this section of the river as freely as they would like. You're replenishing and you're moving towards Moscow. I think much people trying to recruit anything because it's just buggy. Well, we want to try and recruit anything from a large stack army. Let's make this guy just start the long walk to Ulfa. You go up here and knock out Nikfor Koroti because it might bring in Sebastian Ostolov. Oh, they're already pretty knackered anyway. So he's not dead. He's not dead. But again, I've pushed them over the river. Uh, let's build a church school. Loads of church schools. Let's just keep doing that. Okie dokie. So you are going to move up. You're moving up to this section of this gap. You're replenishing in Riga. This is going to be the interesting bit. What so kind of navy have they got? A reasonable navy? So let's rebalance some of my ships. Let's get the sloop out of there and let's get the first three in. So let's get my fleet to blockade their fleets in port. And let's see if they try and attack me. Nope, because what I'd like to do is take... Do I have another reasonably strong navy? Okay. Sorry, John Thurlow, your, your navy's about to be broken up. So let's take the third, the third, the second, the first, and, and the fourth. Get them into Jai Gopair. Gopair. Then you go sit here. So they shouldn't try to sally. But now I am stopping any reinforcement of St. Petersburg over this area. They're going to have to run around if they're going to want to do it. Or transit via a port. But uh, Finland does not have a port. Which is nice. And then let's go down to India. So the armies that are marching on Afghanistan are on route. They're a bit on their own for a few turns. Not for long though. Then when these guys get their act together and can't I can't recruit um, decent infantry so I have to do it from Baghdad. I can't even recruit in Baghdad. Interesting. But I'm probably gonna take Charles Hawthorn. Engage Zahedan in Baluchistan. Oh god. So I really don't want oh. oh I don't want to fight that because look at look how rubbish their army is. Are they getting are they just massively bankrupt? No, they're not massive well they are bankrupt. So I suppose they can't support their can't support their armies and they're losing. Well, that's as annoying as that is, it's probably going to be an auto resolve because I'm not going to fight that and I don't really think it's. Damn it. <sighs> Unfulfilling. Let's replenish Hawthorne and then let's redeploy these armies to then head towards Neroon. Because I'm going to be. Uh, I'm going to be pretty aggressive, or need to be pretty aggressive. And 
this fleet. We also would like to hit you. Trigain, Lation, Ashford, and that's him. To be honest, I'm going to hit and turn and see... See what happens. And it should be a quick end turn, because only three... There's only three, um... Nations. Ah, oh, so three, four, I forgot about the... Oh, okay. Ooh. I really don't. I'm not, I'm not in the mood to fight a naval battle, so I'll just hit auto. Good. That's part of my reluctance to engage them all that time ago, because I just really wasn't in the mood to fight a naval battle. <laughs> uh, navies, naval engagements aren't my... While they're good in this game, um, I don't enjoy them very much, or as much as land battles, so... Should learn. But already it's costing them because they're having to root around inland. Hmm. Cheeky little Russian scamps, as per usual. So they've regrouped to Finland and brought out they oh and they're selling out from Tarki. Uh looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Dagestan. Alright, cheers guys.